Hi guys! So this is week 18 and this week's question is what does deity god divine mean to you? I'm going to break up those three words. So deity to me and I'm turned because I'm going to show you guys these things. Uh, deity to me means a humanoid entity that has a consciousness that you work with to have them manifest things for you in your life. I don't work with deities because I don't want to work with an outside factor that I need to worship or that I need to go to to help me with my life. Also, because I, I have the power within me, I can I can take action and I, I can make a spell with my own energy, energy of objects, energy of the earth, energy of the moon, moon phase, and then I can manifest that energy and manifest, make the spell come to fruition by taking action, going out, taking action to make it happen. I don't need an outside force to help me. Also, if I was a deity and people on earth were like, oh my God, help me with my problem. No offense, I'm not, try I'm not trying to be bitchy. But it's just like, if someone comes to me, like it's a major issue. Like, okay, if I was a goddess, major world issues, people having like major issues, like abuse or something, like, oh, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. That's who I'm going to help. But if you're like, oh, what was me? Help me find a job or I need love or Meh, I'd be like, uh, excuse me, but I am a goddess. I have better things. More important things to do with my time than figure out whether you get a job or whether you have love in your life. So stop calling me. I'm going to hang up now. Bye-bye. I'm not going to help you. So I feel that if a deities, if deities actually exist in the world somewhere, different realm of existence, different dimension of reality, why would they help me with my mundane human problems? There's bigger issues out there to, to deal with that I would expect them to deal with. Um, that help me with my little problems. So, and I also don't do spell work and magical workings that often. So I don't feel a need to, um, call upon anything because I don't even do spell work and magical workings that often. So that's my honest opinion of deities. God, uh, same thing. I mean, God is just a different word that we use for deity. I think people, humans, use God as a different word. Um, God, goddess, Allah, Yeshua, Jehovah, whatever word you want to use. Um, so the same, like, I don't believe in God or goddess as deity. Uh, I believe in them as being just like consciousness of the earth and nature, but not a conscious, not a human consciousness and not a humanoid entity you can like communicate with. They're just kind of like, like the consciousness of crystals. It's not a human consciousness. It's just a consciousness. It's just a definition of consciousness. The earth has a consciousness. I'm going to say this so many times, it's going to become a tongue twister. The nature has a consciousness. <laughs> so you can work with the energies, but they all they, they can take care of themselves and they do. But it's not like a humanoid entity that I connect with. And then um and then what does divine mean to you? So divine divine's a little bit different. Divine to me means divinity. It means something that is divine. Because I can see the god and goddess as having a consciousness they are divine and you can connect to the divine you can you you know divine goddess divine god is interchangeable words they're just words that mean the same thing you can swap them around so when you connect with the goddess or connect with the god or connect with the that's the same that's the same thing as connecting with the divine or connecting with divinity and that's the same thing as connecting with uh, that's the same thing as, I don't know if my, um, that's the same thing as connecting with the earth or nature in my, in, in my practice. So 
I think divine's a word that I use more often, a term that I use more often uh, to explain, like, when I connect to the divine, I'm connecting to the goddess, to the god, to earth, to nature. Not a deity, but the divine. Uh, and I wanted to show you guys how I interpret and represent, well, how I represent the goddess and god um, for me, for the Sabbath. So primarily the goddess is the earth and the goddess nature. But I have some statues that I use to represent the goddess and god during the Sabbath. So I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, this is a, These are actually a set of four um, resin or bronze, I think bronze candle holders. They're from Summit Collection. And they're the, of the green man. This is the first one. I think I've shown you guys these before. This is the spring. He has blue flowers. He's a he's basically he's a he's a tree stump, and he has these blue flowers all over him. And then he has a candle, and then he has a face, and the the face ages. These are, um, this is the goddess that I use for Beltan. And this is the goddess that I use for Ostara. It's also a candle holder. Then I have the Summer. God, so you can see that he's aged a little bit. He has sunflowers on him. And then I have, sorry, I have Litha. Has little flowers on her, little maiden. And my mother actually gave that to me. And my Luna Saw Girl, she's really tall. Then we have the Autumn God, and he has aged even more. And he has oak leaves, like bronze oak leaves and acorns on him. I really, really love this one because of the oak leaves and love the acorns. Then for Maybon, I have this resin. It's called Embracing Gaia. And she has her hair and um, little leaves. And she has a little, it's a marble, but it's supposed to represent the world that she's embracing. And then I have, this was also given to me by, by my mother. Um, I don't work with deities, but uh, this is a statue of Nif. I love her. She has hieroglyphics all over her dress. And she is also a candle holder. Um, I use her for Samhain. Um, just um, as a representation of the Egypt and reincarnation and... Um, I connect a lot with Egypt for Samhain, um, probably because of mummification, but also reincarnation and such. And this is given to me by my mother, so I just um, have her as representation, but I don't work with her as deity. No, I believe I said the other one was for um, Maybon. Okay. And then this is the last green man candle holder. So, of course, you can see that he's fully, fully aged. And he's actually really lovely too. He has evergreens um, with pine cones and holly berries. And if you notice, um, the bark also ages. Um, the little stubs, little nubs, they grow bigger and the bark ages and gets tougher. Um, throughout the four green mans. And then for uh, Yule, I have the Mother Mary, 
with the baby Jesus. And I use this as a representation of the goddess and the sun god, the sun being reborn. And I just thought this was a really beautiful rep representation. And it's a goddess energy. I don't mind working with Mother Mary uh, or even Sophia for goddess energy. You know, motherly goddess energy. And then this is my goddess statue for Imolk. And it's a maiden carrying a flowers. So those are the goddess and god statues that I have for the sabbats. And I also want to show you guys these guys. These are just some other um, representations that I use. So during winter, I have my angel to work with angel energy. She's so pretty sparkly and then I have I usually just take take her out for like Sawin because she's my witch she kind of represents me she has brown hair and she's green she has green so she's the green witch just kind of like what I practice she has a little cat with her and I like that it's she has the the tree the tree and then her broom and the cat and she's green and black so I really like her and then I got a bunch of fairies um, so even though I don't work with fairies I do um, have a section on my altar for fairies and that just started because in the beginning of my practice I did work with the fae world and now I don't but I still honor them on my altar and I do find a connection to the fae world with um, my practice with the nature-based practice so I have a little section of of fairies um, for the for mainly the fairies um, on my altar this is one of the statues little mouse and a flower with this little fairy girl and then I have this little fairy and this one And this girl, she's my favorite. She has glitter on her wings and those little gemstones in her wings. I don't know if you can see her face because she's really pretty. My camera, focus on her. Well, really pretty then I have this little acorn house that's a little brawn and resin acorn house with a little fairy working outside and then it's a little holder and I have these two little acorns that I found and I have um, those little tiny bells and um, I have all those little tiny bells. And I also have my little fairy pendant that has my pink fairy glitter in it. In there. So. And then my last statue. This is my little, my favorite fairy statue. So this is my other fairy. She has a squirrel and a blue jay in her arms and she has um, ferns all over her. Her outfit is ferns and then her beautiful butterfly wings. 
I love her little outfit too. She's so pretty. <laughs> so yeah, so that's all the statues I wanted to show you that I have. Um, and basically that's what, you know, deity, God, divine means to me. So thanks for watching. Have a good day and a good night. Blessed healing. Bye.